Hello students, welcome back. This question is from gate 2007 exam. They are saying how many 3 ratio 8 decoders are required to implement 1 6 ratio 64 decoder. So you are given 3 ratio 8 decoders and all of these decoders have enable pins. We are required to implement a 6 ratio 64 decoder. Okay, that means number of outputs in desired decoder is 64. Okay. So let us try to find out how many levels of decoders will be required. See at level 1 we can use only one decoder. Okay. Let us analyze how many decoders will be required at level 2. So this decoder, this is a 3 ratio 8 decoder, 3 inputs, 8 outputs. This decoder can be connected to 8 more decoders at level 2. See we have 8 pins in the output. Each of these pins can be used to connect to one decoder. That means one here, one here, one here, so on, one here. Okay. So a total of eight decoders. Let me draw that diagram. Then we will see do we need to go for level three or not. Okay. Actually, you can analyze. We can connect a decoder here. That decoder will have eight outputs. Okay. Similarly, decoder connected here will have eight, eight outputs. This one will also have eight, eight outputs. At level 2, total outputs will be 64 because we have 8 decoders connected to each of these pins and one decoder has 8 outputs. So 8 is the 64. Anyways, I'll draw the diagram and show you. So I have drawn this diagram. You can see each of these decoders is going to have 8 8 outputs like this. Okay, so we have a total of 64 outputs. That is what was required. Okay, that means we need not go for level 3. Moreover, from inputs also you can analyze this point. See, you have 3 inputs for basic decoder. Okay, that means this level will have 3 inputs as well as this level will also have three inputs. So a total of six inputs are required. Okay. And that is what the bigger decoder has. Okay. That means even if we want to still we cannot draw level three because we have exhausted all the six inputs in this two levels only. Okay. We don't have inputs for more levels. Okay. Okay. So you can see we have got our 64 outputs and the six inputs. That is what was required. Okay. Now you can see at level one, we have used only one decoder and at level two, we have used eight decoders. So total of nine decoders is used. That means answer to this question is nine, but you actually don't need to draw the diagram and do all this stuff to get this answer nine. You can see at level one, we have eight outputs. That means eight decoders can be connected at level two. Now each of these decoders at level two, they will be having eight, eight outputs. That means eight into eight, 64 outputs are available at level two, which means two levels are required and nine decoders are required. Okay. But now we'll go ahead and also understand the working of this entire diagram. Okay. So now I'm pausing the video back. You can just watch it. Now you can see this is implemented. Now we just need to see how does the circuit work. Okay. So I've written these two inputs. Let us check for input one. This is one and this is eight. Okay. Are the respective pins selected or not? On input is equal to one. We want the first pin to be active. Okay. Starting from zero, the first pin must be active. This is zeroth pin and this one is first pin. We want this pin to be active. Okay. Similarly, this one will be seventh pin. So this is the eighth pin. We want this pin to be active on output equal to eight. Okay. Let us see how does it work. First thing is, where are these three and these three inputs connected? See, I2, I1, I0 will be connected on these three red lines.
and i5, i4, i3 will be connected at level 1. I have already discussed it many times in my theory lectures, but still I am explaining the working once again. If you want a detailed video, then this is not the one. You want to, you need to watch my theory lectures, okay. Anyways, let us see what will happen when input is equal to triple zero for this one and double zero one for all of these three, okay. Triple zero means this pin the zeroth pin of the first level will be high okay now this pin is high that means we are giving one to enable pin of this decoder okay at this level only this decoder is enabled because only this pin is high all of these outputs all of the seven outputs are zero so all of the seven decoders will not be enabled okay now at level 2, we are given the input 0, 0, 1. Okay. That means each of these decoders is getting the input 0, 0, 1. All of them are trying to activate their first output. But because these 7, they are not enabled, none of the output will be activated. Only this decoder is enabled. So only this decoder will just actually read this input and work accordingly. Okay. So this will activate the desired output. Even though all of them are getting the input, but none of them is enabled, so they'll not work. They'll not activate any output. Now you see, for this input, it is 0, 0, 001 and triple zero. Okay, so this is 0, 0, 001 and this is triple zero. That means this decoder is trying to make its first input high. That means zeroth input in this case will be low. So this is low. This one is one. Okay. And all of the uh, six remaining inputs, they are zero. Okay. So all these are zero and this one is zero. Only this decoder, it will be activated. How, how can I say only this one will be activated? Because only this decoder's enable pin is high. All of the other decoders are not enabled. That is the reason in question they specifically mentioned 3 ratio 8 decoders with the enable pins. Okay, because we need enable pins to create such a network. Now you see, this one is outputting 1 on its first input. All other inputs, sorry, on first output, all other inputs, all other outputs are 0. Okay, this one is enabled and I2, I1, I0 are 0, 0, 0. Each of the decoder is reading the input 000. Each of them is trying to make its zeroth output uh, high. Okay. So this one is trying to make this high. This one is trying to make this high. This one is trying to make this high. But because only this decoder is enabled, only its zeroth in output will be activated. Rest all decoders will not be able to activate their zeroth output. Okay. So all of these seven, this one and these six decoders will not be activating their any output. This one will activate their first, uh, its first output. That means on this input, eighth output is activated. So we have implemented the required decoder. Okay. So yeah, we didn't discuss what is the answer. So eight plus one, nine, nine decoders are required to implement such a circuit okay that means your answer is 9